Hi, it's Linda from Linda Learns to Color. Thank you for stopping by my channel and thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate you, those of you who have subscribed and comment and, and watch, even if you don't subscribe, thank you for stopping by. Today I have a haul video. So I was hoping to wait a little bit longer to do my haul video, but I really wanna just put some of this stuff away. So let me go ahead and move my box here, our container. I've been trying to put everything in a container, but this container is actually getting too small for my hauls. But that's okay because I need to start chilling out anyway. So this month is June. So June is my colorversary, my one year colorversary. So I think in July, I, I have some books still coming in pre orders and stuff, but I think I'm going to start slowing down um, buying so many. Uh, coloring books but I'll talk about that in another video so today I just I'll go ahead and start with supplies because I don't have too many supplies I did purchase these Arteza acrylic markers and these are water-based markers so I bought them for my Disney books I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use them in those books because I'm I started one page and have another one which I haven't used the acrylics in the book but I kind of they're kind of a little bit harder so I'm for me to um, do so I might just wait until I'm more familiar with the books to actually use these but so I swatched these out and I was wondering why when I was swatching them that I was kind of having to tug them tug them I thought maybe in the cardboard box they were like stuck but it actually comes with this um, plastic which is hard because I don't have a table um, and this little plastic container thing at the bottom, I don't know if you could see, but they actually just stand up in there. Let's put the black back. And again, I'm in my room on my bed, so it's not a hard surface. But I thought that was nice because it, it actually stays. So if I had room on my desk, I think I would just keep it like that because it's so pretty. Um, but I don't, so I'm, I'll just end up putting it back in the box. And I'm not sure with these acrylic kind of markers, if you have to lay them down like um i my regular markers i have all like i'm um, stored lying down so i don't know if it's the same for these but this is how it looks they're kind of smaller than i thought i thought they were going to be a little bit bigger but it's nice because i do have a name like this one's fluorescent pink and it looks like that and then they're the ones that you know you just have to shake and all and so i, I got my little swatch book here this is where I swatch um, this is a mixed media just a small book I got from Hobby Lobby at half off when they have their 50% off sale and I do some of my watercolor swatching and because I get excited when my stuff comes so I just want to start swatching so this is what it looks like the swatch chart so this is that fluorescent pink these are all fluorescents down at the, below so I thought they were pretty. And then these three, I don't know if you could catch it on camera, but because let me take my glasses off so I could see better through the camera lens. But I don't know, can you see that? They're kind of like glittery or they have some like glitter to or shine or. So that is these. So I'm having a lot of fun with these. So I will put them back in the box later because I think that will be too hard right now. So they don't fall out, but since I'm I don't have the right space right here because it's not a hard surface. They look like they will. So, oh, they just went right back in the box. Great. Okay, and the next thing I got was these Arteza, let's see, 36 Everblend art markers. I got these ones because they were on sale. And then I realized later that they also have other sets that are refillable so these unfortunately aren't the refillable ones because that's what I was looking for I I like my Ohuhu's but I'm and I think I Ohuhu might start be doing the refillables but the ones I have are not and so um I would like to start buying some that are refillable but I can't afford the Copics right now so I am trying to look for more of a budget friendly but refillable so these come in these trays like this and they have a lot of beautiful colors. So let's see, let's just put this right there for now and I'll show you one of these, whoops, 
And as you can see, they are in there nice because I just had it upside down. So they have the name right there. If it'll, and then they're like triangular. And there's the chisel. And these aren't the brush. These aren't brushed on pens either. Can you see that? Sorry about it being blurred like that. So I like both the nib and the brush, so I don't mind them like that. And I did swatch these out as well. So let me get my little swatch book right here. So these are the colors. Aren't they gorgeous? So this one I was doing like going like this and then some of them when I got down here I went more like this that's why they look different but they are so pretty um, so this swatch book is mixed media and I'm sorry I can't read through my lens because of my tripod let's go like that um, heavyweight paper for all types of art work but I noticed with the Arteza you'll look on this side that there's yellow over here and so when I close the paper I was trying to see which one it was and it looks like it is this one right here one of them is the earth red and I think it's coffee brown and espresso brown and on the back you can see they have these yellowish tones and it also went through it left like a yellow mark here so that is interesting. And I, I don't know if it's just the paper. I need to use these like on Amazon paper and other different papers to experiment and see. And then I just put that so I wouldn't forget that there was some yellowing. So that's good to know. But again, it might just be that paper. So just so you know, maybe you could do some experimenting as well. And let me just put that back. So I really like the colors in this. I just wish they were, it was um, refillable. And then, let's see, what else is in here? Okay, I think that's it for the supplies in there. I also got um, this, what are these called? These ink pens. So Pixie at Pixie Projects, she was doing a demo or a tutorial on bubbles and uh, you know how we use Posca and the white paint? Well, she was using a dipped pen. I think that's what these are called. Isn't that so pretty? A dipped pen like this. And then um, Tammy Colors 2 had bought this set. So I went ahead and got the same set that she did. And she too also watched uh, Pixie's projects and got the idea from her. And I was kind of wondering about these. So so it was funny because then all of a sudden I watched a video on Pixie's projects and then another one on Tammy Colors 2. I hope that's the, the name of the channel. I'll put both of them down below. So did I bring my swatching for this? I couldn't get the hang of it. I was using it with this. Um, Lori at, um, is it my color? I forgot the name of Lori's channel. I can't believe that. But a few months ago, she had recommended this for white, like instead of using the Posca pen to get a paintbrush and use this. But I could not get it to work very well with my pen. So I don't know if it's just too thick or what. I tried watering it down a little bit, but I was just having a hard time with it. So I guess I'm just gonna have to practice. And I think I was practicing on, not in my swatch book, cause it's not here. But I did with the with this. Um, yeah, so I haven't I haven't tried this yet because I've been too lazy to actually get it out and get the paint brush and everything. That's why I was hoping that these would work. So we'll see. I have to just practice um, with those. But um, so yeah, I was able to get these to work. Like I was able to get the ink to to get in on the pen and then write, but. I just wasn't able to get my white paint or whatever this stuff is. So we'll see. That's to be continued. So I got that. And let's see. I also got this. So this set of pencils. 
um, is color by number. And what I like about these is they are already numbered. The only thing is, I don't know, it didn't come, my tin did not come bent like that. I have no idea how that happened. I'm blaming the kids because how in the world would you bend that? And, it's, and I had it in uh, craft bags, or wasn't it? It's not a craft bag, but I had it in a bag, so I don't know. But that's okay. So these are already numbered for you, and they go with... Let's see if I got, could see here without my glasses. With these books. So they are color by number by the company Mindware. And... I like that they're already numbered, so now I can just grab the Mindware book and just get going. They're not like super pigmented or anything, they're hard, and um, if I brought the right book, I, I'll check inside so I could show you when I get to the books. So, But yeah, so I thought, even though they're not the nicest pencils, I thought it's still just, just having them to, to color and I don't have to try to find matching pencils and... Um, yeah, just something when you just really just want to sit down and grab and go type thing. And then I got this for my iPad. It was at a thrift store for $5. I thought it was just so pretty. Um, my iPad is in my, is in the living room somewhere and I haven't been able to find it to put it in here. I want to use it for, um, to watch videos and things, but I gotta find it. It's just you know, everything's a big mess over there with all my coloring supplies still. So once I find it, I'm going to put it in here and I won't lose it again. I mean, like who loses their iPad? And then another supply is I got this beautiful pencil holder. I got it to put my Master 150 Premium pencils in. And I shared those pencils on another haul video. But I wanted to use them and I didn't have room to because there's 150, so I think there's like four or five trays, and that was just too many trays for me to have out to be able to use them. Sorry if my voice is going in and out. I'm going on either side of my phone here. So this is how it is on the inside, and I really love it. So now I'm gonna use these pencils so I could get an idea of how they work. Somebody was asking about them. I'm not like an expert on, I'm still learning about all the all these things so it wouldn't be like a review or anything okay so that's all the supplies now we could get to the coloring books oh i feel like i'm missing something you know i am i also got these shuttle art pens over at doodle robot she was sharing that she got some shuttle art pens she got the skin tone ones and since I got the Arteza skin tone, I went ahead and purchased ones with all different colors so I could use these in my color by number. Let me get one so I can show you. And these work perfect for that because they're, they're smaller than my Ohuhu ones. And sometimes I just need a, a smaller like nib. These aren't brush tip, which uh, would be nice if they also came in brush tip. But isn't that just the cutest thing? The nib is so little. And if I had more, well, I guess I could just grab one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me see if I can get one of these Arteza ones out so you can see how cute these nibs are. Or not the nib, the chisel tip. That one's the nib. Okay, so let's see. This is the chisel tip. And so let's see if I could get that in here. Let me put the nails down. You see how cute they are? They're so little. Is that focusing? Anyway, they're so they're, they're much smaller. <clears throat> so I thought these would be great for some of the color by number books. Let's see. So yeah, I got these. And the packaging was really uh, cheap, which is fine with me because I could just put them in something like this. So I don't have the box that it came in anymore. It was really wobbly. Okay, so, th oh, and I, that's why I remembered. I have my little book here. So these are the Shuttle Art Markers. They're alcohol-based. And, yeah, so these are the colors. Aren't they pretty? And I 
got some of this yellowing right here so I'm not sure I'm pretty sure it's coming from these markers maybe it's just my book that's doing that so because I don't I guess it would be these ones so it could be just be my book but this, that's the first time I that's happened with markers in here okay so I got a lot of coloring but so let's get going you know, I love to swatch, so I have this swatch book, and I will um, maybe do, not a review, but show it a little bit better in another video, because I don't want this one to go too long, but, but um, short version is, right here you would put all your yellows from all your different colored pencils, and then you would swatch your colored pencils here, and so like if you found a shade like right here, I think you would you would go across this way, and across this way, and it would tell you which pencil set it is, and you would go over here see how these have like let's see color name I mean, I'm not a, I'm not exactly sure how it works I haven't done it yet but I did watch a video on it but anyway it was a really neat concept so I went ahead and got this so with all the swatching I need to do with my different swatch books it'll probably be a while but it's something I want to work on and I love swatching because sometimes when you just want to sit in color and you don't want to think about all the shading and and even like a coloring book and all that it's really I, I enjoy swatching so and then this is a new book that I believe is just came out because I found it for $3.99 and it might still be $3.99 I think this came out at the beginning of this month so I don't know how long they keep them at a lower price this is a coloring book cafe. I don't have too many coloring book cafes. I think I have one or two that I've purchased. So, so in this haul, I got a few more. I got some pages. I'll try not to worry about the time. I know with me, I'm okay with watching longer videos. Sometimes I will watch it and then come back later. So let me know in the comments, look how long are videos um, that you like to watch? Cause this one's already going to be over 17 minutes so let me know i've watched videos that are like an hour and a half but like i said i don't watch them all in one sitting sometimes sometimes i will if i'm coloring and if it's not one that i want to keep seeing stuff but if it's if it is like a haul video you know you kind of want to see things then i will sometimes just watch it over a few days i'll just watch 15 minutes here and 15 minutes there so this is another um coloring book cafe I was getting this wildlife one because it was on sale thank you um, Tammy colors too for letting me know it was on sale and then this is another one that I had been wanting to get so I went ahead and just put it in my cart so this one was $17.99 and this one I don't know if it's on sale or if it's new but this one was $5.99 and look at the difference so but these are so cute if they're if there's a book that you would like me to do a full flip through, just let me know. So that is this one, Forest Wildlife. I love the forest, so I thought that one was nice. There's so many ones in, that, in the Coloring Book Cafe collection that I would like to get. There's raccoons. So I think this one's kind of divided like mammals, reptiles, bugs, or flying things birds because then in the back there's like sea creatures and that one's funny toadfish so the art is just beautiful very beautiful I love that one and then there were the Amazon sale, buy two, get one free. So I actually got all of these. These are color by number. Doodle Robot had links to these, which was really nice. So I went ahead and looked at them and thought, you know what, these are really neat. So I will try them out. And then some of them were also on sale. So they were even, I think like three of them I paid probably like $4. This one is around the world color number. They all say, and this one says Endless Summer. Yeah, 
it's pretty. Oh, I feel like I have to sneeze again. And then this one is Country Scenes. So pretty. And then this one is By the Sea. And I did really good. Those, these are the only books I got on the sale. Even though I was tempted to get doubles of some of the other books. And then I also got, is this color by number? No, I don't think this one is, huh? This one is Magic Fairies. Isn't that pretty? I always like how they have one that's colored on the front and back. So pretty. And then the last one is Birds and Blossoms. And cute. I love owls. So pretty. So well, those will be fun. And now let's get into this bin over here. When I did my French coloring books, I forgot to share that I had I bought uh, the baby's bookmarks. I would like to get a few more. This is the only one I got. Really cute. They have tons of them and I've seen them on other people's channels throughout this year that I've been on Color Tube. And I wanted to get some, isn't that cute? So, I might get a few more. This is the only one I have right now. And then, let me get my glasses on. Let me just pass some of these up because some of these I've shared in my book outlet haul. So let me pass those ones up. Okay. Yeah, Oops, sorry about that. I didn't realize all those books were in there. So then I got these for pre-orders and then I had been seeing these, I think is it Japan? Japanese or Korean or something like that um, site and I I was really happy when I saw they were on pre-order to be here in America I do wonder about the paper though I wonder if it's different I'm kind of tempted to get one um, where's I don't know if it's the Japanese or or what but I tempted to look at that was a cute page to get one just to see the paper so if any of you know, let me know in the comments, please. I'd really, I'm really um, interested in knowing if the paper is different. So, you yeah, know, it's that one page. Yeah. So that is this one. And then here's that one. Sorry about the glare. Do you guys mind glares? I know I don't. When people are apologizing about the glare, I'm like, oh, don't even worry about it. It's just a part of life. Look at that. It's so cute. So let me know in the comments as well. I know there's not really much we can do about it, but I'm just wondering. This is so cute. I just love these. So thankful to have these two. I think there's one more too coming out in October. I'm not sure about the month, but I do believe there's another one. And then, did I share this one in my last haul? I can't remember when I got this one. Got this in June. Cute Little Houses by Sally Berry. I think I did a flip through of this one. This will be fun just to grab your markers and have a good time. Oh, look at this one, it's my favorite. I love mushrooms. So, Cute Little Houses. Look at that one, I like that. And then I also got 50 miniatures, winter miniatures. And I got this at the beginning of June as well. So I don't know if I've done a haul with these yet. But I'm slowly collecting some of the others that I don't have. 
just so cute. I love all her coloring books so far. So that is that one. And then I got this one, another 50 Christmas miniatures. The other one was winter. I saw these ones on Haley's coloring channel. She was sharing all of the 50 miniatures that she has. I think she was putting them, oh, this is so cute. Look at that. I think she was putting them in the order that she likes, like which one's her favorite and so forth. So I wasn't actually gonna get these ones, but they were just so cute. Look at that. I like that. So there's that one. And I think I'm on my last two. Oh yeah, so I got this one. Big Little World adult coloring book. These are so pretty. And the cover on this one is that matte finish, so it doesn't have the glare. I actually like the matte finish. I know some people, they don't like the way they feel, but I do. Let me know in the comments, do you like the matte finish or the more glossy finish? I would like to know. Curious minds want to know. And my last coloring book, I got this one. Magical Tiny Houses by Alexandra. And I got this one because over at Tammy Colors 2, she is due, her and somebody else, I'm sorry, I don't remember the other person, they're testing their pencils in here. So like on one page, um, I think they're using like Star Joy and on another page, they'll use like Polychromos. And on another page, just going to use another um, brand and so forth just to kind of test out all the brands on this Amazon paper. So I thought that was a great idea. So I might tag along on that. And she doesn't have like a set date for when she's doing them. So that's nice, no, no stress. But aren't these just so cute? And it gave me an excuse to get this book. Cause it's so, I love it. So that is that. And that is my haul for you. Again, I appreciate you all stopping by and visiting my channel. Oh, wait, I do have another one. I'm so sorry. I found this is an Usborne book. So I found this. And it's a Woodland Magic Painting book. And I thought, this is so fun. So you get your paintbrush, which is included. And you just paint over the black area. So you do want to keep it contained to like just paint this area. Um, because they're different colors this was my first one so it's kind of a little bit messy because i was just trying to figure it out but i thought this would be fun and then if you could go over it with colored pencils if you like kind of do some shading or add in a little bit more colors that you like and then i started this one and i was getting the hang of it a little bit better so like on this one you get to see i kind of well i didn't really goof but most of the colors just down the middle so i learned that if i get the paintbrush and just get a good amount, not too much water, but a good amount and just go like this and spread it out a little bit more. You don't get that, just like that line here. And what's really nice is it has this. This is so awesome, look at that. So then when you do the next page, you go like that. So it's protecting the pages. But look at these, aren't these not cute? Oh my goodness, these are so adorable. It's not a really thick book, but so I think I'm gonna get a few more of these. I just thought that was really fun. It's kind of like those color by numbers I have that already have the color pencils. So there's like no, you know, you're no guessing. You just pick it up and go. I thought that was what this, this kind of reminds me of. And I even came with my own paintbrush. I know it's probably a very inexpensive one, but that's fine. And so, yeah, I just really like this. And there's other ones with oceans and just different ones, outer space, things like that. So I'm gonna get me a few more of these. Okay, now I'm really done. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. Um, don't forget to hit the like button. I always forget to say that. I feel kind of funny asking you guys to like, like and do all that. Um, but if you do enjoy the video, please do. It really helps my channel. 
and remember to live a life filled with color because it's so much prettier that way and you all have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.